Yes. EG Pot of Thunder with your boy, Young Denzel. And we're here with my girl, Cindy. Yes. And your business, Candles, right? So do you want to get a little bit more to tell, tell your business name, what you do, and kind of what got you into that business frame in the first place? Okay. Um, so my name is Cindy. I'm the owner of Sacred Flame based uh, in Providence, Rhode Island. And I sell non-toxic intention candles. And I garnish them with crystals and botanicals. And the reason why I do that is because of the healing properties of inside of the healing properties that I use. Um, so the healing properties, what can you get? I'm like very novice into that at all. I have no idea kind of what you're speaking about. Oh. So what would you, what do you mean by healing spirits? Like, so, so each can, so there are intention candles and each crystal, I use a specific crystal for each candle because of their healing properties. So for example, in my manifest candle, I use citrine because citrine is good for manifestation and it's good for attracting abundance as well. Awesome. Cindy, real quick question. If I recently got my heart broken, what candle do you think I should use? Oh, that's a good question. He's going through it right now, so don't. Yeah, don't my life is down. in shambles. I'm trying to pick it up. You know, we'll figure it out. Um, oh, that's a good question. Uh, maybe. We'll lead up to the promised land. Protection, please. protection. Protection. Okay. Yes. So that's scented as rosemary sage, and I have a black tourmaline in there, and black tourmaline is actually like one of the most powerful protection stones. Okay. So, so what about? So the weather's getting nicer. I want to go out. You know, I want to like foresee my future. I want to get a little crazy outside in the summers. So yeah. What do you What do you recommend? Maybe something. Citrusy, um, I don't know what like what 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 steps are we taking? Um, so I would I have a cleanse candle and that is citrusy. So it is blood orange and grapefruit. It also has a citrine crystal in there. Like I said, it's good for a manifestation and abundance. I also have a tranquility candle. Oh nice. And it smells like a spa. And I have a free night crystal in there. And free night is good for promoting love and peacefulness. That's exactly what I need. I need peace and I need a little bit of love this summer. <laughs> yeah, you need some right? luck too. If you have a luck candle, yes. you gotta hook them up with that. Yes, right? I do actually have an abundance candle. So, and that is scented as frankincense and myrrh. Um, and I have aventurine crystals in it. And aventurine is good for promoting um, abundance and health and wealth and prosperity. So, that's, that's great. That's, I love how you're doing that. You have plenty of different options. And like real quick, how did you even get into that in the first place? Like I love hearing people's stories what made them motivate to even get into that business they're into. You know what's funny is that people ask me that all the time and it's I don't have an extraordinary story about it really except for the fact that this business started off as me and my sister. And unfortunately, we grew apart, and she wanted to start a family, and I wanted to start a business. So um, it really was just about us sitting down one day and saying, hey, like, what can we do where we can be our own business owners, and uh, we can work for ourselves and make a living, support our family. And so I don't even know how we came just up. like a strike of lightning and hit you. Yes, basically, came over your body exactly, your body. yes, yes. But I am very creative. I love colors. I love making things look pretty, as you can tell. Oh, for sure. <laughs> absolutely. Look at her, absolutely. Everybody yes. look at her. Um, but I, I love being creative, and I love doing artistic things. So it actually came up perfectly. Where I love candles, and I was like, we just started experimenting, and then it kind of took off from that. So you have your full-time jobs where you're doing yes. at all times. That's great. Yeah. That's, a, that's definitely an inspiring story. I mean, do you have any words for anybody who's feeling like maybe nervous and nervous to take that leap to the next step and be a full-time entrepreneur? What advice do you have to someone in those shoes right now? It's funny because. Um, I'm huge in the, um, the like I'm um, big in markets right now, and someone who is just starting in the markets. I had a Zoom call with them earlier in the oh, week. Oh, thank them and thank them. Exactly. Big yes, coming. we had a Zoom call, hey, and awesome. they were asking me the same questions that you were asking me. And all I said was basically just immerse yourself fully into your business and love what you do, and you will be successful. But it, just like anything, it it goes with it's. It's really you just being productive and you fully going full force. Love you know, that. just believe in your product and believe in yourself, and you'll get you'll get where you want to go. Yeah, so I can picture your room is full of candles, <laughs> and you're like, you know what? All this shit has come true, and you're doing it, and you're living the dream. Exactly. Yeah. So guys, if Cindy can do it, you can do it. Remember to follow her on her Instagram. Yes, it is underscore sacred flame four hundred one underscore. For sure. We love having you on, and we definitely got to set up a podcast full hour with you on and tell your entire story. We can get more yes, in depth for yes, sure. We definitely got to set that, that up yeah. for sure. Remember, follow our Instagram and give your girl a shout out for yes, sure. Thank you. Here's your